Hi guys, it's Scott here, and in today's video we're going to take you through an example of using the morphology method. Let's take a look now of our example of holding washing on a line and develop a morphology table for that. If we recall from the office analysis that our functions were listed as get holder, hold washing, supply energy, release washing, and then store the holder, we can now think up different ways to do each of these functions. So these are our alternatives that we're going to list out here on the right. So for get holder, one option might be that we get it from a box or some storage place. Another option is that we could maybe have the, the holder stored on the line itself so it doesn't come from somewhere else. The other option is to have the holder built in in some way into the washing itself so we don't have a separate object, we just put that as part of the washing. If we think now about how we're going to hold the washing, there are a variety of ways that we, we might be able to do this. We could utilize line friction to be able to keep the washing in place. Perhaps we would design or develop some sort of interlock like a clip here, which would hold the washing in place on the line. There may be some way that we can thread the washing onto the line in some way to maybe eliminate the need for a separate holder and something that we should consider. We could even use cloth friction as a means of keeping it in place. In terms of supplying the energy required to achieve the holding of the washing, there are a few options that I could think of. A spring that's quite commonly used to hold washing. Could be different types of spring, not necessarily a coil spring like that. Maybe a leaf spring or maybe a tension spring. Maybe we could go a bit crazy and we could use a magnet. That's an option. Maybe gravity is some way to hold it. If we balance it really well, maybe gravity will hold it there, but maybe that's not good enough to keep it from coming off the line on its own. Maybe in a combination with some of these other options, we can get it to work though. If we now go down to releasing the washing, what are the options for releasing the washing? Maybe we could use our fingers to release it. Maybe we could unthread the washing, particularly if we're going to thread it. So these two would be linked together and interrelated and might not work with the other alternatives that we've got on that list. Perhaps we could use a switch. Not sure at this stage what the switch is go going to actually act on. Um, that's something that we can think about later. In terms of storing holder, maybe they're pretty similar to getting the holder. So storing in a box. So those two would be associated together. We wouldn't store it in a box but get the holder from the line. So quite clearly uh, those two functions, get holder and store holder, have the same alternatives that need to be matched together. Maybe we don't want to store the holder at all. Maybe we want to throw the holder away. It may not be environmentally responsible but that's an option that we can consider using these different alternatives for these various functions, let's now work through some different combinations of them and see what solutions we would come up with and let's have a think about what they might look like. So reading down this first column here, uh, getting the holder from a box, holding the washing using line friction, supplying energy via a spring, releasing the washing using our fingers and storing it in a box, that sounds a lot like a very conventional closed peg which we should all be familiar with. So that's not a very creative or interesting solution there. Let's have a look at some of the other ones. Perhaps if we had the holder on the washing, we held the washing by threading it, we used gravity as the energy source, we released it via unthreading, and we stored the holder on the washing as well. Let's have a think about what that would look like for a second. To my mind, it would be something like this. So you may be aware or familiar with the loops uh, that clothing sometimes comes with, particularly on women's clothes. So this is helpful for hanging it on the hanger in the store for display, but perhaps we could use this also to hang it on the washing line. Maybe if we had a segmented and detachable clothesline, uh, like the one shown on the right hand side there, maybe we could just detach it, thread all our washing through, 
hang the line up and then tension the line so that the washing could be held on it in place and it wouldn't blow off or go anywhere. So rather than developing a new device to clip the washing onto the line, we've now developed just a, a new way of securing the line which allows us to thread it in this manner. These are the types of uh, alternatives that are creative that we want to see that we wouldn't maybe otherwise consider without the use of these kind of methods. Let's look at this option. So we're getting the holder from the line. We're holding the washing using line friction. The energy supply is coming from magnets. We're releasing the washing using a switch and storing the holder on the line as well. So if we're supplying energy from magnets and we're releasing it via a switch, uh, let's have a think about that. The easiest way to do that would be using electromagnetics. So we're going to generate that magnetic field via the flow of electricity. We're using line friction, it's staying on the line. So to my mind, something like this would look like an opposite polarity parallel magnetic line. So when we have an electric current running through them, each of these lines are, are polarized differently, so they're attracted to each other and maybe there's a slight spiral in them. And what we do is we put the washing between the two lines, flick the switch to uh, start up the magnetic field, and then these lines will then be drawn together uh, quite strongly, holding the washing in place. Let's have a look at another option here. So we're getting holder from the line again. This time we're using cloth friction. We're supplying energy via gravity, releasing the washing with our arm and storing the holder on the line. What might that look like? This is what we would call a self-locking sprag. So we've got a piece of metal which has got slightly tapered sides, so they're tapering in, going down, and we've got a bit of all thread which is like the end of a bolt that we've cut off and if we put the washing carefully into the end of this uh, C-shaped clip, put the sprag in there as well, and then pull down with the sprag and the washing, that's going to tension up as it is drawn down towards the narrow end of the clip, uh, creating friction and flexing out um, this clip slightly and holding the washing in place. So gravity is doing the job of holding the washing in place. That's quite a novel solution. Maybe it's not very practical because we've got two bits and it might be a little bit fiddly to assemble this and to get it to hold so it might take you a little bit longer but it is potentially a valid solution that that is worth consideration so as you can see this is a very useful technique for generating solutions which you might not otherwise um, come up with or think of immediately when you look at a problem yourself obviously not all of them are going to be efficient or viable or effective but the best thing is to have as many options to choose from when we start so that we can hopefully find one that is really going to suit our requirements and maybe also be a bit creative or innovative that's the end of the video thanks for watching